I mean, technically his team is slowed down, but still leading the hobby. It's one of the best storylines that we've seen in all of esports in a long time. Hey there, what's up everybody? Chance here, and I gotta say, I am still baffled by the stage two major that we just had. We just watched the Los Angeles Gorillas with a sub win the entire thing in a loser's bracket run that I don't think we will ever see again in Call of Duty history. It was Spark, the MVP, the Volk Master himself that came into the squad and really locked it down. But outside of that sheer insanity, now it is my job to make sense of that madness and rank all 12 of our teams. You did a great job last time, Ali, but here are my major two power rankings for the 2022 season. At number 12, Ferris Legion. With only two series wins on this year and a quick 3-1 loss at Major 2, it would be hard to justify any other placing. Coming in at number 11, Minnesota Rocker. After a disappointing result at their own home event, they failed to show any improvements from the qualifying stage, leaving them just above Paris, but that's pretty much it. Sitting at number 10, Toronto Ultra. Incredibly surprising to have them this slow after their Cold War year, but being 2-18 in their last 20 hard points played, the 235 can only get them so far. At number 9, this seems to be a fitting place to have NYSL. After picking up Paul X, they have wins over Paris, Minnesota, and Toronto, earning their place above them, but ultimately they fell short to the LA Thieves at the Major, so they fit snugly in between. Placing at number 8, Los Angeles Thieves. After a disastrous Stage 2 qualifying performance where winning an S&D seemed nigh impossible, they managed to perform well enough, completing a reverse sweep against NYSL. Then they stayed on the reverse sweep theme with a loss to Optic Texas, but in my mind, they rebounded well enough to dodge the bottom four for now. <laughs> Falling to number 7, we have the London Royal Ravens. Possibly the most difficult team to place in the power rankings, at the end of the major, they only managed to win a map against Paris Legion, suffering two 3 0 losses to both Los Angeles Gorillas and Florida. I expect these guys to bounce back, but getting back to that top three form might be a bit out of reach. Coming in at number six, the Miracle Men of Major Two, the Los Angeles Gorillas. To be honest, after their absurd win, I have no idea what this team will even be going forward or where Spart will end up. Put them at first. Put them in 12th, but whatever you do, don't count them out. These guys can win. In the fifth spot of fuzziness, the Florida Mutineers. Another squad that has some wiggle room in the middle of the pack, but for me, now that they have shown a wider map pool and secured a top four placing, they have proven without question they are stronger than the so-called experts originally thought. Starting off our top four, the Boston Breach. They had an impressive 4-1 performance throughout the Stage 2 qualifying and a team best third place finish at the major bracket. These guys have been improving non-stop through the year, but have yet to firmly beat the teams at the very top. But holy f if they continue this trend of improvement, who knows what this year holds. My boldest pick for this list at number 3, the Seattle Surge. With a 3-0 win over Optic in a down-to-the-wire Game 5 with FaZe, these guys are potentially the new kings of Bocage. It's a bold call to put them this high, but the way I see it, they got robbed with Matt getting sick on stage. I saw flashes of greatness where, honestly, they could have won the entire thing, so I'm placing my bet and moving them into the top three. In at number two, the Atlanta FaZe. They have the second best map record, the second best series record, and an almost guaranteed spot in the finals. There is no doubt that this is a top two squad, but in my mind, there is one team standing in their way of becoming the best in Call of Duty Vanguard. Holding on to our number one spot, Optic Texas. Look, I know they got caught. I know they will have nightmares about Gavutu, but on paper, it is still a team that is filled to the brim with talent and has the deepest map pool in the league. In spite of their recent performances, at the end of the day, they have a 3-0 record against FaZe with an 11-4 map count. When it comes down to a best of nine in the grand finals with their map pool, they have to be considered the best in the game. There we go, our definitive Major 2 Power Rankings list. It was not an easy one, that is to be sure. Feel free to roast me in the comments, you know, let me know how I did, yell at me if that's what needs to happen. But most importantly, make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date on all that CDL content.